gigantic. It's the only way to describe Jupiter. With a diameter of nearly 87,000 miles, you'd have to line up nearly 11 Earths end-to-end -to, -end to equal one Jupiter. Not to mention it's twice as massive as all the other planets in the solar system combined. Being so massive and mighty, it's only fitting that Jupiter is named after the ancient Roman god of all gods. Jupiter is the first of the outer gas giant planets beyond the asteroid belt, orbiting at an average of 484 million miles from the Sun. A year on Jupiter would last for more than 4,000 Earth days. And because of this, if you left Earth 10 years old, you wouldn't even be one yet on Jupiter. Regardless of its giant size, Jupiter spins faster on its axis than any other planet in our solar system. This means that a day would only last a little bit less than 10 hours, or about 40% of one Earth day. And Jupiter's massive size also allows it to pull in more than 75 of its own moons, the most in the solar system. The planet's four largest moons were discovered by Galileo all the way back in the 1600s, including Io, Callisto, and Europa, all among the top 10 largest moons in our solar system. But no moon can compare to Jupiter's largest moon, Ganymede, measuring some 3,300 miles across, and is even bigger than the planet Mercury. Naturally, however, Jupiter's comparatively large mass would also allow for some seriously strong gravity, around 240% of the gravity we're used to on Earth. And because of this, on Jupiter you would only be able to jump around 38% as high and lift about 38% of the weight you could on Earth. And your own weight would also be far different. If you left Earth a spelt 100 pounds, you would weigh in at just about 240 pounds on Jupiter. But the so-called surface of the outer planets is a very tricky thing. While the inner and rocky planets provide a solid surface like Earth, Jupiter and the other gas giants are made from gases like hydrogen and helium, which don't provide a truly solid surface on which you could stand or land. So, quote, standing on the surface of Jupiter would be a lot more like falling straight through to the planet's fiery center. Not recommended. Nevertheless, let's tune in for the Jovian weather forecast. Jupiter's striped and swirling appearance is the result of massive cloud bands and storms sweeping across the planet's surface. And with this comes very up and down weather. Temperatures up in the cloud tops of Jupiter's atmosphere will very likely drop down to around minus 240 degrees Fahrenheit. However, making your way towards the planet's center, temperatures and pressures would rise tremendously, giving way to temps of over 64,000 degrees Fahrenheit. As you would expect with a giant ball of whirling clouds, Jupiter can be quite breezy. You're safe to expect wind speeds as high as 400 miles per hour on Jupiter. As far as precipitation, the methane in Jupiter's atmosphere forms clumps of soot, which harden as they fall, forming actual diamonds. So be sure to pack a very sturdy umbrella, because you can expect showers of engagement ring stones, diamond hail, but when it comes to storms, none can outshine Jupiter's infamous Great Red Spot. This oval-shaped storm, a lot like a gigantic hurricane, is nearly four times the size of Earth and has been raging for over three centuries. Jupiter is hands down the king of all planets, but we still have the rest of the outer solar system to explore. Next stop, the ringed planet, Saturn.